Welcome everyone to the home of finding sweet chocolate easter eggs within our video games. Well okay, perhaps not chocolate ones, but it's as good as having and finding the real thing, but just on a different level, as this is the Easter Egg Hunter. Welcome Easter Egg Hunters to the first video and start of a rather special three day weekend event dedicated simply to covering some of the most notorious and greatest Easter Eggs that others and I and yourselves can come across and they all feature within Bungie's Halo Reach. Reach made its way onto the Xbox 360 in September of 2010 and brought the Halo series full circle as it uncovered exactly what happened just before Halo Combat evolved. The story Storyline simply follows a group named the Noble Team, which is made up of six Spartans and you will take control of Noble Six, who is the newest addition to the crew, and your mission is to protect and save Planet Reach from the invading Covenant forces. Reach is a jam-packed game full of adventure, exciting missions, which are all accompanied by epic music, gorgeous backdrops, stunning cutscenes, and of course it holds a ton of brilliant easter eggs. Master Chief's appearance in Halo Reach. Launching us into this three day event of nothing but golden easter eggs from the Halo Reach series sees us firstly looking into the second to last mission that Reach has to offer which is better known as the Pillar of Autumn and we need to head to the third stage named Rally Point Bravo where you'll be fighting and battling your way towards the Pillar of Autumn where Noble Six will eventually discover his or hers fate but in the process of doing so Noble Six will end up trying to protect the Pillar of Autumn from being destroyed by using a mass driver to take down the Covenant Cruiser. Fire now, Lieutenant! Hit her in the gut! Aim for the glassing port! Upon successfully completing this mission, a cutscene will play out. All stations, brace for cast -off. As it does so, you'll notice a pelican boarding the Pillar of Autumn, and just as it lands, if you push the right control stick to the right, you'll see Master Chief, aka John 117, laying dormant in his cryo chamber. The Hidden binary coded name. There have been various designers from the Halo titles that have got in on the act of hiding stuff for us to find and Dave Candland is one of them and to find his mini egg you simply need to go to any level when I'm just using the very first mission and once you've landed use your weapon to zoom in which will then activate the binocular mode. If you now peer into the bottom left hand corner you will notice a series of ones and zeros and well if you translate this mass of digits from binary to text, it will then read the name of Dave. Hi Dave! The DJ song number one. Now this next easter egg will take some time to get to and firstly you'll need to access the level new Alexander and select mission start. This mission takes you on various tasks throughout the metropolitan city and are mostly fought out in your falcon as your main objective is to take down the jammers set up by the covenant. Roughly 30 minutes into the level or of course depending on how fast you're moving through the level you'll come to the objective to destroy the last jammer at the tower which will take you to Club Herrera which actually in itself is an easter egg as Club Herrera is named after Claude Herrera, founder of Halo.Bungie.org. But instead of heading to the club, if you fly off Falcon to the hospital and upon arrival you will see a large tower in the middle which is glowing orange near the top. If you fly below this you will find a small platform with two trees either side of it resting there. Land your Falcon upon this platform and now exit your vehicle and if you check the wall you will see a large switch saying hold X to open door. Once you have activated the switch nothing will happen in this area so head back to the Falcon and now approach Club Herrera. Once you've settled on the landing pad and taken out the grunts put on your dancing shoes and get ready to party as upon entering you will now see a brute mixing it up on the turntables while playing a remix version of Never Surrender.
the DJ song number two. Well, since we're at the club, we might as well check out another song named Siege of Madrigal, which featured in one of Bungie's previous enormous and popular titles, Myth. To activate this famous tune, you need to exit Club Herrera, plonk yourself back in the Falcon and head to the top of this particular building. Once you've landed, get out and wander around and over to the air conditioning units where you'll find another switch. Once you've pushed the switch, again board your vehicle and head down to the club, enter, and begin to boogie on down to the next tune. And with that, I will see you tomorrow for another round of Easter eggs from Halo Reach.